Hey vlog, it's been almost 8 months since I moved to New York City from Canada and it's truly been an amazing journey to say the least but during this time I've also realized that I want to make some major changes in my life and my career path and try to pursue my passion of storytelling through film. This unfortunately means the end of my time in New York City for now as I move back home to Canada and figure out how to work towards this goal while sustaining myself and hopefully make my way back into New York City in the near future. So here's my last vlog in New York City for now. So when I finally made the decision to move out of the city, my head was filled with all the things I needed to do before I moved back in the short amount of time that I had left. So eventually I sat down and decided to put together a short bucket list of all the things that I wanted to do in New York City that I didn't really get to yet. So my plan for the next week and the last week I have in New York is to try my best to cross off all of them. My first item on the bucket list is to actually explore the Broadway. And it's crazy that even though I've lived here for a while now and I've been to Broadway many times, I've never actually been there with the intention of exploring or touring because usually it's so crowded and you try to get out of there as fast as you can. But the plan for today is to really explore Broadway and check out all those popular shops that I've always wanted to visit. So the second item on my bucket list is to check out the Queens and Chinatown area. I've always wanted to visit Chinatown in Flushings, but since I live and work in Manhattan, I basically never escape Manhattan and Queens seems so far away. But luckily I have a family friend who lives around the area and he's offered to show me around the city and take me to his favorite Korean barbecue restaurant in Queens, so I'm excited. Wow. Oh, 
15 days in the oh, really? and, uh, oh, okay. Well, that was a very eventful trip, thanks to the two gentlemen we ran into. But I'm so glad I checked Queens off my bucket list, just three days before my flight back home. And now the third and probably the most important item on my bucket list is to say goodbye to all my friends I made here in New York City. I think the best part of living in the city has been all the incredible people that I met here and many of them who've become my close friends. I'm definitely gonna miss them a lot when I'm gone. So today is officially my last day in New York City and my flight is tomorrow at noon and I finally managed to get everything packed and ready to go and I just have one item left on my bucket list that I purposely left until the last night which is to take the elevator up the Empire State Building and say my farewells to the city. I left it until the last 